Hi guys, thank you so much for joining. If this is your first time seeing this gorgeous face, you are highly welcome. My name is Elizabeth Fuinsi, and this channel is all about a lot of things from natural to relationship, lifestyle, just vlog, and a little randomness. So please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell so you miss any video on this channel. So today's video, I'll be doing uh, um, MTV Sugar Ninja Season 4, Episode 7 Analysis and Episode 8 Expectation. Like I realize on this channel, if I make a review on any movie, it's always like, you understand it's always oh because this about um best friend in the world that i did like the love was massive and thank you so much thank you thank you thank you so much thank you so today i'll be making an mtv sugar nine just season four episode seven analysis and episode eight expectation if you haven't watched any any episode on mtv sugar before honestly you're missing a lot because the same way I love Best Friend in the World is the same way I love um, MTV Sugar, but MTV Sugar has been for a long time, maybe for four to five years now. And I'm addicted to their channel, I'm addicted to that episode, I'm addicted to their video. Yes, yeah, so that's why I'm making these expectation videos again on their channel. So, you know, I already said it, if you want to enjoy, if you really want to know what I'm talking about, you need to watch the episode, like the complete episode itself, so that you can understand what I'm talking about. So you'll be like, oh, what's she talking about? What she's talking about go on with the episode and i'll put the link to episode 7 in the description box yeah so i like let me just jump on the analysis and let me tell you what happened in the episode. in case you see me looking down you understand you know i would do it here <laughs> you know i would do it here. i'm looking down to my notebook so i won't make any mistakes yeah so what happened the first thing that i that happened in the episode not the first thing but the on first thing i shot it down that happened in the episode um episode seven was that diana is pregnant you know we already know that diana is pregnant in episode six because you know in nigeria when a girl starts throwing up <laughs> that's the first the first symptom of pregnancy is that because in nigeria if you even in africa if a girl is throwing up just accept it she's pregnant nothing else she's pregnant so diana is pregnant she is pregnant Diana is, Diana is pregnant. She realized she's pregnant when she took um Simi also to the hospital to get him as self tested. So she got she got the results and she realized she is pregnant. Imagine a girl from the village who is struggling to get her results and now she is pregnant. Look at her life. Look at her life. You see, keeping bad guys is all good. <laughs> Anyways, and then the another thing that happened in episode seven is that Toby has sti that's sexually transmitted infection and asked baby to get tested too you know in episode seven baby reaction was like weird to me because your partner telling you to get yourself tested is just doing you a favor honestly because if i'm the one i would definitely do the same way i don't see anything bad in it in you telling your partner that um, i have sti and i want you to go and get yourself tested too you know it's just he's just doing her a favor but baby reaction was like you think I'm not clean? I'm fine. Blah, 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 blah. So that's that for that. And then about far, honestly, far is making it, really making it. And thanks for um, what's this guy name? I forgot him. <laughs> but far is really, really made, making it, honestly. Cadrio, Cadrio, what's this guy name? He really, he really helped her in everything. Cause like, in episode seven, just like, who just, yeah, guess who just got a gig in one of places? Yeah, and, and then it was honestly got a gig to sing somewhere, and that's amazing, really, really amazing. And then see me too as STI. That's the short transmission depression. Like funny enough, funny enough. What really, what really, 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 like what's really funny to me on in see side is that when she. When she gets herself tested and they said she has STI, the first thing that he, she said was like, we did half and half. Please, what's half and half? If you have sex with someone, sex is sex. Nothing like half and half or <laughs> one and half. I don't understand. So she said, we did half and half. And then I jumped down when we did this. What is jumping down has to do with The only way, like Dr. Zella, that the only way to, 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 to prevent yourself from infection or anything is is that you use condom or you use contraceptives anything apart from that it's you're just jumping and down or half and half it's just a waste of time so see me also have sti sexual transmitted infection so that's about that and then was you see me boyfriend <laughs> was you as hiv you know when simi told was like ah 
they, I went to the hospital. That done there is itching, and I went to the hospital. They said I have STI, and I think you should also get yourself tested. But she was like, "No, I'm clear. Do you think? Do you see me see like?" He believes me said she's eating that day. I know something is wrong. Is it that was he with something or the other way? So it was confirmed that was you has HIV AIDS. That's terrible. Honestly, that's terrible. So another thing that happened in episode seven is that Bada was sent to jail. Honestly, I was so happy, so glad because if 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 he escaped that thing, it will encourage more rapists in the in the society. So. I really love the fact that he has been sent to jail. So another thing that happened in episode 7 is that Francis, Cynthia, and the rest, they passed their exam. Like, you know, hard work pays. Honestly, hard work pays. If you're hard working, you'll get, you get reward for it one day. It's maybe late or later or you shall get paid for it. So hard work really pays. So the last thing that happened in episode 7 like the last thing i'm gonna talk about the apple in episode 7 and that feel my heart is, heart is that Koya is pregnant god god is that Koya is pregnant god 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 like she has been waiting for a long time you know she had this concentrative that they are not going to have baby for some times so the pressure from family came and she has to like remove the constructive and get pregnant and then she taking long so she's pregnant honestly i'm so glad i'm so glad and i and i, I can't wait for mtv sugar to release episode 8 because i think they will have it to episode 10 i guess so i can't wait for them to release episode 8 because honestly i'm looking forward to it it's, it's just as if sunday she just come fast fast <laughs> then she fast forward the day and sunday she come honestly yeah so that's all for episode seven that's all if you want to understand what i'm saying very well i'll put the link to episode seven in the description but you need to go and check it so you understand what i'm saying you'll not be like what's she talking about what's she talking about so that you understand so that will be the end of this video if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed help your little girl subscribe to this channel and share with your friends that might need it and comment down below what you feel about this movie if you're going to go and watch it or anything share let me know in the comment section and i will see you guys in my next video bye